is it going, everybody? You're watching that about tech, and today we're going to talk about WhatsApp backup on the iPhone. More specifically, how to backup your chats, messages, media, audio messages, stickers, absolutely everything that you have on your iPhone WhatsApp the correct way. And I do say the correct way because there are actually two ways you can backup your WhatsApp data. One of them, the most common one, doesn't really work all that often, it has a ton of issues and problems, and the other one is the correct way, which is the way I'm going to show you in this video. And don't worry, because you don't need to download anything, you don't need a computer, you can do it straight from the iPhone. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, as I said, there are actually two ways to back up your WhatsApp. Option number one is go in here to the WhatsApp app, you open it up, and then you tap on settings at the bottom right hand corner and then chats and then chat backup and right here as you can see you have the option to backup now and the thing is this is not the correct way to backup your whatsapp this is the most common way that's how most people do it especially because it's right there within the whatsapp app but trust me this is not the correct way to do it because it's full of problems errors bugs lack of compatibility it's awful it's really really bad so the most common problems with the whatsapp backup within the whatsapp app is when you go ahead and want to start backing it up if you tap on backup now it'll say preparing and as you can see it'll start counting this percentage as you guys can see here and a lot of people have problems right there it'll just say preparing 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 and it just won't go ahead and continue it'll just freeze completely in other scenarios it'll freeze in the uploading as you can see it is it'll be stuck there at zero percent or one or ten or fifty or ninety it doesn't matter it's very common that it'll freeze right here on this step of the process as well but the thing is sometimes it does finish sometimes it goes ahead it finishes up it's a successful backup and it's all good apparently but the thing is even when it's done even when it can actually finish successfully sometimes it still has problems so it's very common that even after finishing up successfully when you want to recover that backup you have problems one of the most common things that will happen is this when you go ahead and recover the backup it'll show you this screen when you go ahead and try to take a look at your media so it brings some of the information but not everything not your media not your photos not your videos as i said it's just full of problems it has a ton of bugs and it's very common that you see a screen like this when you recover your backup that's made through the whatsapp app so now that you understand that this is not the correct way to do it how should you do it what's the correct way to back up your whatsapp on your iphone and it's super easy guys because all you have to do is tap on settings and then you're gonna tap on your name right there at the top of this banner so tap on your name and then iCloud and then iCloud backup that's right your old friend the iCloud backup and you may ask me but why why is this the best way simple because when you back up your iPhone all the information in WhatsApp will be saved as well so you don't really need to go ahead and back up through the WhatsApp app. You don't need to do that because you can simply back up through iCloud and then all of the information, all of the chats, conversations, uh, of course, all your media, your audio messages, stickers, absolutely everything will be saved as well because the iCloud backup, and I'm saying iCloud backup, but the same goes to the computer backup. So if you wanna back up using iTunes or Finder, whatever, any actual iPhone backup will save not only the iPhone information, but the information within apps. And this is super important. So when you back up your iPhone, all the information inside WhatsApp will be saved as well. So you don't need to back up your iPhone to iCloud and then back up on the WhatsApp app. All you have to do is back up right here. You can tap on backup now and then you're done. And as I said, keep in mind that you can also back up through a computer and all the information will be saved as well. All your WhatsApp data will be saved as well 
through a computer backup. Please keep in mind that if you don't have enough iCloud storage, you won't be able to finish the backup. But as I said, you can do it through a computer, which is free. And I'll put a card right here so you can go ahead and watch that video on how to back up your iPhone to a computer. And trust me, all your WhatsApp information will also be saved. So then when you go ahead and buy a new iPhone, for example, all you have to do is recover that backup, wait for everything to load, and then you have all your information saved and all your WhatsApp data saved as well. So that's it, guys. That's literally it. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next days as usual. Bye-bye.